Well, you know it's not good news when I'm doing a second video within about three hours when it's not a, a show day. So, unfortunate news, um, you know, broke a few hours ago, and you know, here I am on my lunch break talking about Quincy and then would be an out for the season with another neck injury. And you know, first and foremost, before we even get into like how this impacts the team, um, you feel for the player, you feel for the person. Um, this is a guy that was a sixth round pick way back. Um, you know, he actually initially got cut. You know, I think his first year. Um, you know, he had to work, you know, in order to carve out a nice little role on this offense. And, you know, by about year three, we kind of started to see him break out a little bit. And it's just so unfortunate that, you know, for the last couple of years, he, he has struggled to stay on the field. Um, you know, it, this is the second neck injury now. So you got to wonder about, you know, where his career is headed, if he's still going to be able to play after this injury. I, I know he was just signed to a four year contract. Um, you know, so that sucks, you know, looking at it from that perspective as well. But, you know, most importantly, you do feel for the player and for the person. And you know what a good guy he is, what a leader he is, what a teammate he is. And it sucks so bad because we've seen what he can do when he's on the field, when he's playing at his peak. And it's just unfortunate that we haven't seen that enough, uh, you know, for his time in a Jets uniform. And, you know, hopefully he comes back strong from this. You know, we're all wishing him the best. We've had him on this podcast before. Um, you know, we've done interviews with him in the magazine, so it, it definitely hurts. It stings. You know, he was a guy that was drafted by this team, and, you know, I thought him and Darnold were going to do some big things together if he was able to stay on the field. And, you know, that just kind of brings me back to the whole thing that we've been talking about all offseason with this team. It's that they had to stay healthy. If if they were going to make a run, if they had any chance of making a run, the the top-end guys had to stay healthy. And already we lost Avery Williamson for the year, and then, you know, C.J. Mosley went down. Um, you know, Quinn and Williams, he didn't practice today. Mosley didn't practice today. Um, Jamal Adams didn't practice today. Sam Darnold went home sick today. So it's a complete mess right now. Um, I, I was feeling so good when I woke up this morning. I'm like, all right, you know, we got out all the frustration last night during the three-hour show. Um, you know, I woke up feeling good. I'm like, all right, I'm ready to, you know, move on to Cleveland, turn the page. Let's get after it. Let's get this one. And, you know, sure enough, the Jets' first practice and, you know, they're missing almost half their big-time players. So, you know, this is not good. Obviously, you got Demarius Thomas, who's going to be able to fill in for Quincy, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, I mean, not having this many guys. And, again, you do have Monday, so you have the extra day to prepare, which I guess is a small positive. But, man, and another positive, I guess, is that you do have the bye week coming up week four. I know a lot of people were upset about that initially when it was announced. But just based off of the injuries we already have right now, um, you know, it looks like I would say C.J. Mosley's probably going to end up playing on Monday, even if he's not 100%. So, it, you know, if, you, if you're going to run him out there this week and then next week against the Patriots, at least he gets the, you know, the two weeks to kind of rest up after that. But, man, this was just a killer blow reading that today, you know, about Quincy. And hopefully they're able to pick it up. Next man up, Adam Gase, you know, he's got to fill in with DT right there. Um, I think they could add a fourth wide receiver as well. I know, you know some people mentioned Pierre Garçon and a few other guys that are available. Um, maybe you bring back Deontay Burnett or Greg Dortch. Um, you know, because I thought those guys had earned their roster spots initially in training camp anyway. But man, this is a this is terrible news, guys. I, go Jets. Talk to you soon.